And a dozen women, Afghan women, have returned to their jobs at the Kabul International Airport weeks after the Taliban took over Afghanistan. These 12 brave women are among 80 employed at the airport and a month after the takeover, they gathered courage to resume their lives, knowing the risks and challenges ahead. Uh, but very. Why? Because um, after the Taliban, I shocked. But the company, all the situations, none quality. The role of women in Taliban society has emerged as a talking point across the world. When the Taliban was last in power during 1996 to 2001, when women did not even have the basic rights, they could not study, could not go to work, they could not even leave their homes without a male chaperone. But with the Taliban's return to power 20 years later, the group has tried to project a more inclusive image. It is said that women will be allowed to work and study, but with terms and conditions applied. It, it is these conditions that have brought out Taliban's hypocrisy. Now, on one side, they say that women can work under the Islamic law, but have ordered them to stay home until Talibs learn how to interact with them decently. In the last few weeks, they've allowed only a select group of women professionals to resume work. These women are employed in healthcare, education and now the aviation sector. Highlighting that the Taliban rule is flexible when it suits them, makes their work easy. Let's just list out a few terms that the Taliban has imposed on women until now. Clearly showing its double standards here. Women can study but have to be seated separately from men. And wear a veil in front of a male teacher. They can venture out of homes but have to wear a burqa and as we emphasized before, they can work but only as the Sharia allows them. Not just that, last week while speaking on an Afghan TV channel, a spokesperson, Taliban spokesperson said that women have no place in the government. They are not equal partners in the society. They should stay at home and give birth to children. زنای افغانستان اونم زنا است که ملت شهید پرور پیدا میکنه اینا را تربیه میکنه با اخلاق اسلامی تربیه میکنه اینا را در مقابل سه تا ستمکش جهان در طی 100 سال اخیر کش کرد Taliban has still not cleared what is allowed by the Sharia law and what is not its policies are uncertain as future of the women as uncertain as the future of women itself and the leadership says one thing the card follows another. Regardless, one thing is clear, no matter what route the Taliban takes, how much it boasts of offering women's rights, there is one thing history tells us. The extremist group and women's rights do not go together. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.